Okay, we're entering the cemetery, Oak Hill, Oak Hill Cemetery in Jasper, looking for George Lindsay's grave. Well, guys, we're going in here to look for a famous Alabama resident. From right here, grew up right here in Jasper. We have a lot of uh, celebrities locally. You may or may not realize that, but there's a lot of talent from this general area, musical talent. But right here is a famous actor. We're going to look for him, guys, wherever he's laid the rest of it. You know, I've ridden by the cemetery my whole life. It's been here for a long time. Well, guys, I just had a moment of prayer as I stood here by Mr. Lindsay's. I call him George. I think he would have wanted everybody to call him George. Gooba. We loved you, Gooba. Thank you so much for giving those us hours, untold hours of humor, enjoyment, peace. We thank you for that, sir. What a joy it was to have known you, even if it was just by film on TV. You know, that's what I was saying. I had driven my entire life by this cemetery, and he's been buried here since 2012. But drove hours and hours, up, time and time up that road, and I never really realized that he one day would be out here laying in the, underneath the magnolias. He was a blessing to me. Uh, I appreciated the fact that he was, uh, I felt like he was here in central Alabama. I felt like he was a homeboy. People could appreciate that southern wit. And uh, it's just special to me, guys. I get emotional. So... Thank you, George Lindsay Goober. Shazam. No, he didn't say Shazam. What was that he said, Glenda? Judy, Judy, Judy. He did that one. We watched him, though, a lot of time. He did that. Remember, he had, I can't do it. He did click that tongue and say. But anyway, he, did, he had a lot. He pulled those pants up and wear that funny, goofy-looking hat. But that was George Lindsay. Man, he was a talented one so. But anyway, guys, just wanted to give you a chance to see. It's a simple grave, elegant grave. But that's the way he lived his life. Thank you, Mr. Lindsay, for all those all of those hours. All right, guys. This used to be called Central School, right here in Jasper, Alabama. And it's changed quite a bit since I've been up here at it. I went to the school there in the fifth grade and in the sixth grade, but it's, uh, oh, this is new here. It's called Maddox now, Intermediate. But George Lindsay went to school here. I, probably, I think he did. I mean, don't quote me on this, but I think he did go to this school right here. Also, this is the school I went to school with with Patty Bell. She was in school with me in the fifth grade. Uh, it's a big old school. It's kind of like one of those rambling schools. It's, uh, it just reaches across. But I remember guys, I used to, uh, we used to have gym classes. We used to have to run around these streets in the daytime. I think. That may be Tom Bevel's house over there, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. We'll get around there in a minute. But anyway, ten years, guys, like I say. But I'll tell you exactly where George Lindsay lived. That's Goober. Goober. 
course, he's famous from Andy Griffin, as y'all know. George Lindsey Goober. Goober Powell. Gomers. Cousin. Look at these little cottages. Aren't they cute? Across the street from the school. Those are so cute. Those little cottages from the 1940s and 50s. Uh, that is uh, the old central school, guys. It was a grammar school back when I went to it. This was a gym over here. And a lot of this red brick is new brick that they've added on since I went to school there. My class was somewhere behind that area right in there. I don't know that y'all can see it or not because it's all on Mojo's side of the vehicle. We'll, we'll get out and walk it. here in a minute when we get on up here. But anyway, yeah, Goober lived just right back over to the top of the hill here. That's where he lived. So right here across from the Baptist Church in Jasper, Alabama, this is where George Lindsey Goober Powell's mother lived here, just a block up from the school, Central School. And uh, her house sat right there where those uh, Bradford, uh, not Bradford Pairs, the uh, Great Myrtles sit. And it looks to me like they made a park out of it. Someone said that her, his uh, mother, I think, donated the church. I mean, donated the house to the church and asked them to build a park here where it, that was one of the conditions and they agreed to build the park. But the church, uh, the house has moved, been moved. It, had, it wasn't torn down. It was one of those Victorian style homes, guys. And, uh, hopefully we can find that house, and I, I know where it used to sit, but I don't know if we can see it or not, but we're going to try. This is just a block, just a, just a block up from the school, guys. Right down there, you can see through those hedges. That's where it, the school is. And Goober went to school right there. I don't know what grades it was when he went there, but yeah, he was... Uh, Jasper kid. Look at this beautiful home here in Jasper. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. That's a strong carriage house out back of the door. That's the point right there. And there's a carriage house. Isn't that a beautiful home? See the turret. Yeah, see the turret. A beautiful home and a beautiful park across the street. And the school, Madlet's Elementary School. Walker Campus College, named after Bevel, Tom Bevel, Bevel State Community College. I don't know if you can see much about that up there on the hill, but isn't that a pretty campus? Named after Tom Bevel. It's a beautiful place to have a picnic. Lots of picnic tables and shade. 
quiet, peaceful. And over here is the cabin. You see it up there? Outside of that cabin. There it is. Couldn't take a picture up there hardly because it came off that bank. So I couldn't get back far enough. So I came down here. Cute little cabin. Here we are at Walker High School. This is where George Lindsay, a.k.a. Cooper Powell, went to school, guys. Walker High School. And they say he got his start in acting. So the best I remember, now you might want to check me with this, but they said that he had uh, had some plays that he went to and kind of got the acting bug there. And I think he later on went to uh, New York maybe or one of those places. We'll have to do a little research, guy. But uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that's where he got all that acting stuff at, his, uh, his education. Guy was a very smart guy. Check out that old service station back in the 40s, I imagine, or 50s. Isn't that neat? In downtown Jasper, Alabama. Well, I know you can't tell anything about this, nor neither I can I. But Goober's mother lived here in Jasper and after Goober went to Hollywood. And uh, she lived by herself and she was a widow woman. I don't know about Goober's dad, George Lindsay. But anyway... The years went on, and I don't know exactly what happened to her. I know she lived here in Jasper by herself. And uh, the lot I showed you earlier was where their house place was. And after, I would say, just guessing, guys, because I went to school up there, it was sometimes in the late 60s, early 70s, uh... Cooper's mother, she got older and I, she, she may have had to go to a, a nursing home, I don't know, but she was elderly. And uh, so she gave the lot to the church. And I think the part of the agreement, and I don't know, I'm guessing some of this, but I know she gave the lot to the church and they built that little park there that I showed you earlier. Well, anyway, so they moved that house. It was a huge old uh, Victorian-style house, guys, and brought it out here in this area, straight across the street from this church here. It's called Chapel Hill Church. It's right in here somewhere. And I actually saw the house shortly after they got it moved in up here. And I've confirmed this with some area folks, that the house sets in these woods. But I, I don't want to go into the woods. I'd love to. When I hit that million subscriber mark, I may get me somebody to go out there and look for it for me. But anyway, it should be out in these woods somewhere. But that's where the house sits, what's left of it. But anyway, that's Goober Lindsay's. Uh, George Goober George Lindsay's history guys and I just wanted you to ride along but rest in peace my friend our sweet home life guys thank you